everyone and welcome to the next HSC Sim tutorial. In this tutorial we will go through the visualization tools and also through the process tree and log viewer tabs over here. In this tutorial we will open an existing flow sheet to test out the visualization tools. So we go to the file, open process, browse to the HSC 9 folder, flow sheet hydro, Example Reactions and open the Example Reactions flow sheet. This flow sheet comes with the HSC SIM installation, so you should be able to open the same flow sheet. In this process, some copper and iron sulfide concentrate is mixed with water in the pulping tank to create slurry. Then the copper and iron sulfides are leached in the leaching tank, then in the thickener. The solids are separated from the solution and then in the filter some water is recycled back to the pulping tank. As we saw in the previous tutorials, always when you create a stream it will automatically create a value label below it. This value label is used to visualize different variables on the flow sheet. This header label over here is used for the same purpose. It will tell the user which variable is visualized currently. If you want to create a header label for your flow sheet, you can always press this Insert Visualization Header button. To start visualizing different values, you can either press this Visualize button over here to go into the visualization mode, or you can directly select the variable in the select visualization box. So if we want to visualize the amount for the flow sheet, we press the amount and then we can see the amount in the value labels. The visualization header label shows the currently visualized variable and also the measurement unit. If you want to change the measurement unit for the visualized variable, you can press this button and then change the measurement unit for some variables. In this case we have the different measurement units of mass and concentration. As you can see when you turn the visualization on the thickness of the streams sometimes change. This thickness represents the relative difference of the variable value when compared to the other streams. As you can see, if you have the visualization mode on, these panels over here change. These panels are used for visualization and the Stream Viewer panel, if we click a stream, shows the information of that stream in two tabs. This Faces tab is common for all streams and the tab after it is specific for each type of stream, depending on which unit it came from. Because this is a hydro model, so that's why we have the hydrometallurgy tab over here. You can also select multiple streams to be viewed here. So if I select another stream by holding control and then yet another stream, resize the panel a little bit. I can see the information of the three streams over here and it makes it easy to compare the data. This data can also be copied or exported directly to Excel if you want. The panel below the stream viewer is used for the stream visualization. For example, it contains options for max line weight of a stream and also how the stream colors behave during the visualization. There is also an option to filter out some streams from the Sange diagram, which means that if I don't want to take into account some of these streams, which have very high value, we can edit it, edit it here. In the HSC sim, we can also create specific stream tables for each stream. So we can go to this uh, stream table editor and then we can create the template 
for the streams. So we want to select three variables, so we make three rows, and then we select amount, temperature, and water amount. Now our stream table is ready, so we choose to which streams we will assign it. We will assign it for all streams. We will press assign. We can see that OK table set is active for these streams. Then we can also change the stream table type from three different templates. Uh, we can have one with name and value. We can have one with name, value and measurement unit. And we can have one where we have a separate header table and separate value tables. In this properties menu, you can also edit some values for the stream table variables. Okay, and uh, then we press apply and close. And you can see that the stream table was created for each stream. Then you can relocate the stream tables so that the flow sheet looks nice. Note that these stream tables are also active if you go out of the visualization mode. Also, if you go back to the stream table editor, you can create multiple stream table sets for streams. So I can create the table set 2, which contains the NLB values, and then I can assign it for some other streams, for example, off gas, and then I press apply and close, and I get that table set for the off gas stream. The next button over here is a stream connectivity visualization, which shows how the streams are connected on the flow sheet. If it's an input stream, it's blue. If it's an intermediate stream, it's black. And if it's output stream, it's red. If I create a stream that is not connected to anywhere, then that's shown as green. We already looked at the Insert Visualization Header tool. And the next tool is Copy to Clipboard button. This copies the FlowSheet image to Clipboard. And you can easily paste it, for example, to your report in Word or Excel. You can also export your FlowSheet image to a PDF or other types of files by using this Export FlowSheet Image button. In here, you can select the format you want to export it, and you can also select whether you want to export only the current page or all of your pages. If I export current page, then the program will ask to which place I want to save my PDF. These lock tools can be used to prevent the editing of the flow sheet in two ways. The first tool prevents the editing on the flow sheet level. So if I use this lock, then I cannot move the streams around here, or I cannot generate new streams or units. If I use the second lock, then it means that both the flow sheet is locked and also the editing of the values is locked. So if I try to go inside the units, I cannot go and edit the values there. Next, let's take a look at the process tree tab over here. So this shows the, all the process units and the connected streams in one list. So first, all the units are listed over here. And under each unit, all the connected streams, first the inputs and then the outputs are shown in the list. The streams are also shown here in a separate list over here and they are automatically arranged in alphabetical order. If you want to edit the data of, of a unit, you can just double click the unit here and it will open up the unit editor. Next to the process tree, we have the log viewer. The log viewer will view messages concerning the last opening of a flow sheet or the last calculation run. So if I press calculations here, then it will produce log 
for that run of the calculations. You can manually check any of these entries here if you want. If we now make some error for our flow sheet, for example by making a negative input stream to the concentrate and then pressing run, the program will inform us that okay there are some errors now detected. If I press OK, it will automatically filter out the log viewer so that the errors are clearly seen here. So now I can go here and check, okay, there is some negative species flow rate in my units. This helps you to debug your flow sheet and find the errors and fix them very easily. You can also filter out the log viewer by pressing these buttons over here. Now you should be able to use the visualization tools of the HCC sim and also know how to use the process tree and the log viewer. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching.